This is a video about uh, removal of the stock carb from the, uh, this is a 1980 Honda NC50 Express and installing a new aftermarket carb. So I'm going to go through the uh, removal process here. Uh, just removing the uh, air filter. This is an aftermarket air filter. For those of you who don't know, it takes a, a 25 millimeter diameter air filter and then uh, just removing the different hoses. Uh, that's the drain hose. And it doesn't want to come easy, so I'm just going to cut it off. And come to think of it, my new carp already comes with its own drain hose. And then I'm going to take out the slide, just unscrew the uh, throat uh, choke slash throttle chamber cap there. And uh, I took out the choke. Just unscrew that. What's my next move? I'm just going to clip the fuel line. I hesitated, but was going to try to just pry it off. But who cares, man? I'm just cutting it off. And what else do we got? Uh, oil injector line, I think just popped right off saw the fate of the other two lines and it decided it would uh actually that was the fuel line i had already cut the oil injector line All right, maybe I cut the fuel line too. <laughs> I cut them all. Yeah, I did cut the fuel line. That's just fine. Oh, it came off the petcock, no problem. That's what happened. That's my special mechanics apron think I'm going in for surgery right got the gloves got the apron I got it all what's our next move there Jim still got a little bit of a cough always looking for tools There she is, 10 millimeter, taking off the bolts that attach the carb to the intake. I think these are the stock bolts. They're kind of long because uh, normally you have that bracket also in, uh, installed in there that uh, the air filter assembly, the stock air filter assembly attaches to. As you can see, I've long since dispensed with the stock air filter assembly. Um, all right. This thing had a bunch of uh, bad gas in it. It came out brown red or reddish brown. Just bad news, brother, bad news. There's that bracket. Goodbye. Goodbye, we won't be using you anymore. All right, I think we're ready for installation. Try to clean up a little bit while you got the chance. After I installed this new car, made the bike look even dirtier.
There it is. Complete with its own drain hose. Pulled off, there's a little cap on it on the fuel inlet. And it matches right up perfectly. The key measurement is right there. See, I'm going to remove it. You can see the intake right behind my hand, right there. There's the intake. And if you measure from the center of each of those bolt holes, I believe the measurement, the key measurement is 38 millimeters. So if you're wondering if this will fit your Honda Express, that's how you know. I'm just going to reuse the stock bolts even though they're way too long. Well, you don't really need anything that long, but whatever. Sometimes I'll use the uh, Allen head bolts and shorter ones, but uh, I just and don't forget there's a little ground strap. You can kind of just barely see it there that uh, goes through one of those bolts. And we'll just cinch it right in. Snug it up. You don't have to brute force it. There's a, a rubber gasket. Just needs to get pressed down slightly. As you can see, I'm very dainty with the socket wrench. We're not trying to uh, make sure that this never can come off again. All right, what, what's next? Just playing with, uh, there's some, moving some wires out of the way of the lever choke. This has a lever choke on it. Get rid of that drain hose. Tuck that one on down in. Just put it there for now. I'll probably zip tie it later. Uh, take off the, uh, I guess it'd be technically the throttle cap. Of course, I always, always forget to do this. Whoops, I should have taken the slide out first. Now I got to pop it out the hard way because it's nestled down in there. Thinking to myself, you big dummy, you did it again. You forgot again, you big dummy. But I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not scared. I've been there before. I'll be there again. But hey, that's why I'm making this video. So you don't make the same mistakes I do. Thinking, man, I can't get it up high enough. What's going on here? Try the double screwdriver. No, it's not going to work. Don't mess up the carburetor. Pop, pop that thing up. Forceps. We need more anesthetic, nurse. Patient is coming too. Ugh. wonder if doctors do the same thing. Oops, I forgot to take the slide out first. Well, we'll just have to do it the hard way, nurse. Oh, there it goes. All righty. Okay, here's the, here's the tricky bit. I took off the old slide and the old cap. Now, the deal here is I need to have enough bare cable 
for uh, the new slide to fit on. And uh, the new carb comes with that goofy tube that goes through the throttle cap. See it right there in my hand? See? Look, i got to run it through that. Now normally, on most carbs, you would be able to just take that tube off. Some of you even allow you to uh, adjust the tube. <coughs> like if, if you have extra bare cable, you can adjust the tube to make up for the difference. And a lot of times you can adjust uh, the throttle cable at the handlebars to make up for some difference. Uh, I didn't have either option. It didn't look like there was much adjustment at the handle, if any, on this thing. And, of course, the other option is I can try to expose more bare cable by cutting the cable. Uh, there's a plas or kind of a rubber or plastic housing, black uh, cable guard, whatever you want to call it, that you can, you know, kind of dremel off. But then underneath that is like a metal sheath. And to be able to cut that without damaging the bare cable underneath, uh, is just too risky a task for me so I'm trying to figure out something else so what I decide is I'm looking at this thing thinking man this should come out of course I thought about it later I probably could have just drilled it out but instead I took a Dremel and just cut it off entirely and then ground it down as close to the cap as I could and that's how I um, ended up not having to adjust the throttle cable at all on this one um, and you don't you know it, it might differ from bike to bike onto my 81 Express I didn't have to do anything uh, the throttle cable was perfect I got lucky I guess so next time I think I would just drill the thing out completely um, but, you know, uh, experience, experience is always uh, handy and it's easier to make these decisions after you've been through the process. So next time I'll know. But that's the reason I'm making this video so others can benefit from my experience. <coughs> So what are we doing here? I I, uh, I thought this was on camera, but it's not. I just put it in a vise, and I'm going to pull out the Dremel and zap that turkey off. It actually took me a while. I'd have to Dremel it off. Yeah, I already told him that, man. So uh, I actually edited out a lot of this part of the video because I kept breaking... Uh, forget what that attachment is called for the Dremel it's like a little coarse wheel that a cutting disc yeah I broke a few cutting discs because they snagged of course, I always wear eye protection don't hurt yourself take proper precautions it's not worth it's not worth any injuries so there's the Dremel The whole process took me about an hour and then here I magically speed up to where I've got the cap cut off. And then I'm just fitting it on the throttle cable. It was a little tight and then when it is a little tight, getting the spring on and then the slide is a real challenge. 
And then after that, uh, I since it has a manual choke, uh, I just I'm just gonna kind of tuck away the old choke cable, but leave it on there so that if for some reason somebody goes back to the old carb or <coughs> a stock carb, they've got the choke cable handy. And you may be able to somehow attach the choke cable to that lever and uh, pull the lever up with the stock choke cable. Um, I think the uh, needle position on the slide, it was kind of in the middle position, so I just left it at that. And then I just attached up the uh, fuel line. I, uh, I capped off the oil injector and uh, <coughs> made some uh, preliminary adjustments and started her right up. I, did, I thought this thing was out of gas, but uh, there was some bad gas in the tank. As I added new gas and turned the petcock on, much to my chagrin, I saw a big glob of nasty gas pass through that clear fuel line into my new carb, which was distressing. But I uh, hope this helps people out with installation of this aftermarket, uh, aftermarket carb. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.